Toronto's Penguin Day by Valerie Gorbachev One night, Father Turtle read Little Turtle a story about penguins. When Little Turtle fell asleep, he dreamt he was a penguin. He played on the ice and dove into the water and swam and splashed with other penguins. In the morning, Little Turtle decided he wanted to be a penguin. He put on his red slippers and waddled from side to side. After breakfast, Little Turtle had an idea. He went up to the attic and found his grandfather's black jacket in an old chest and he put it on. Now I look like a real penguin, said Little Turtle, staring at himself in the mirror. Hurry up, honey, said Mother Turtle, or you'll be late for school. I'm ready, said Little Turtle. You can't go to school in that funny costume, said Mother Turtle. It's not a funny costume, said Little Turtle. I'm a penguin. And then he put the book about penguins in his backpack and waddled outside to the school bus. Hello, little turtle, called the kids on the school bus. Great costume. Thank you, said little turtle. I'm a penguin from the South Pole. Miss Dog, look, cried the children when they got to school. We have a penguin in our class. Oh my, said Miss Dog. Why do you look like a penguin today, little turtle? Because Daddy read me this book about penguins last night, said Little Turtle. I love penguins. I love waddling from side to side like penguins do. I love sliding on my belly like penguins do. I even love to sleep standing up like penguins do, said Little Turtle. We want to be penguins too, cried all the children. So while Miss Dog read to them from the Penguin Book, they all tried to pass balls to each other using just their feet the way penguins do with their eggs. And when they had recess, Little Turtle and his friends slid down the slide on their bellies, pretending they were penguins sliding on the ice. During music time, they all danced a waddling penguin dance. And at nap time, all of them dreamt penguin dreams. How was school today? asked Mother Turtle when Little Turtle came home. We had a penguin day, said Little Turtle. It was great. That night, Little Turtle ate fish-shaped crackers with dinner because penguins love fish. And before he went to sleep, Little Turtle brushed his penguin beak. Even when Little Turtle got into bed, he still pretended to be diving and swimming with his penguin friends. Then Father Turtle brought a new bedtime story to read. This is the story of a little monkey who lives in a beautiful jungle, he said. Really? said Little Turtle. A monkey? And when Little Turtle fell asleep that night, he dreamt he was a funny little monkey. Here we go again. The end. Thanks for watching, friends. Purchase my book at facebook.com Tumsky and Mrs. Small slash shop. Look below under Show More. My favorite part is when he pulls his roots right out of the ground. And then he takes off down the path to make new friends. And my favorite part is when the big bear chases him. And they have to run and run and run. <laughs> yeah. I think my favorite part when when he fell.
fell out of a water barrel and landed on his tummy. And uh, oh my goodness, they broke his arm. Oh, that, that hurt. They gotta hurt. Oh, guys, that's gotta hurt. Oh, y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it when Al followed him everywhere he went. Oh, my favorite part was when they, the fishermen, they jumped on the boat and uh, they, uh, they swam away. Yeah, it was funny. Yeah, but no, they did not have a flamingo in the story. Yeah. Well, uh, Fisherboo, I, Fisherboo, still like it. Yep. Subscribing is free. Thank you so much for your support. We cannot do this without you. Yep, subscribing is free. Hit on the bell for new shows. And look below under show more.